Hey friends, it's Carla from Creative Love Affair and I'm here today with the Tattered Angels YouTube channel with Canvas Corp Brands and I've grabbed all of my uh, fun Tattered Angels mists and paints and I'm going to create a bunch of backgrounds just using some of the Canvas Corp white and ivory paper as well as some Bristol cardstock which is a little heavier weight. I've cut them into some panels to fit on a card size and for my first background we're going to do some stenciling. I've used light blue, aqua and turquoise in the high impact paints. Uh, these are great for painting furniture but also go on really lovely when you put them on paper. So lots of fun uses. I just sponged those over a stencil and created an ombre effect. And you can see how quick and easy that was with a beautiful background. These are going to be great uh, to put behind cards and uh, even to cut, die cut uh, fun things from. The next one we're going to do a smushed paint background and I've grabbed the yellow, orange, and red high impact paint. And I'm using the ivory uh, canvas court paper. The first paper that I did was the white canvas court paper. It comes in a 12 by 12 sheet. So you can see I just smushed that on my craft sheet. And then for this third, I took another sheet uh, in white of the canvas court paper and put that on the background. Of what was left on the craft sheet. I took a piece of saran wrap and just used that to create a bit of texture over the background and mix the paints in a bit. Now for the third uh, one to complete that I've used that saran wrap again to just add a little more texture and now I'm using Alaskan Salmon Chalkboard Mist and it's orange glimmer mist. Both of those have glimmer in them. The chalkboard is semi-translucent and the glimmer mist is translucent. So really creating such a cool effect with that paint. For the fourth one we're doing a rainbow painted background. We've got red, orange, yellow, green and turquoise. A high impact paint and I'm painting these on the Bristol cardstock and this is just a heavier weight you can use um, paints and watercolors and the paint really just goes on so smoothly this high impact paint is lovely I thought that this would be a really great background to die cut maybe some words or some shapes out of and uh, something that kind of grabs all those rainbow colors. The purple I created just by mixing the red and the blue and you can see how nicely it mixes. And there's a look at that one there. And I love the paint strokes that are in the background. Now I used uh, the remaining purple paint on my craft sheet um, for the fifth one, fifth one and I just took a Stamp, heart stamp, rubber stamp, stamped it in the paint and then on to the white canvas corp background paper. And then for the sixth one I'm layering some metallic high impact paints. These are beautiful and uh, I start with the rose gold and I'm just rolling it on with a brayer and then I've grabbed the silver and I just kind of layer these on and not really in any particular order but um, just really random. I like the strokes in the background and I'm using this on the ivory canvas court paper. It really has a lovely metallic sheen and I like how everything blended together. Now for the seventh I'm using the remaining uh, metallic paint on the craft sheet just to dip a piece of the white canvas court paper in and that gives just a really um, neat background on there. 
Then I'm grabbing the bronze and iridescent gold glimmer mists and spraying those in the background. I love the iridescent gold. It gives just a hint of shimmer and a hint of gold in the background. And this is really pretty as well. For the uh, next one, we're using acrylic blocks, which I have misted. And I've taken its brown glimmer mist, bronze glimmer mist, and rich brown simply sheer. And the simply sheer um, just doesn't have any glimmer. Um, they are both translucent mists, but the glimmer mist has glimmer. Now we've got the Times Square Glimmer Glam. That is a thicker uh, translucent paint or it's a tinted paint with chunks of glimmer and it has a really neat effect where you can heat it and it bubbles and it gives you texture and the cowboy glaze is a uh, glaze that has mica in it and it reacts similar to the glimmer glam so you can see it's just very pretty over top and gives just a really neat bubbly um, almost oxidized effect there and that was on the uh, white paper I believe the next one we're doing is a watercolor blended background and I've got using that Bristol paper which I misted and now I'm just dipping my paintbrush into uh, this one is the rosy simply sheer and the blue was the water baseboard and baseboard is a semi-translucent mist with no glimmer and then we've got the iris baseboard which is the purple and i'm just painting these on and the uh, water is just uh, blending them creating a soft look so you can see here how it dried really gorgeous and uh, this will be a fun background even to stamp directly on maybe a sentiment now for the uh, tenth background we're using some mists and some stencils and a sponge so we've got the english ivy um, glimmer mist which is the green and i've sponged right through this little stencil and I'm not looking to create, uh, actually, sorry, that was the tangy lime, and this is the English Ivy. I'm not looking to create a really solid stencil, I just want a really soft look. And then we're using the Party Pink uh, Glimmer Mist and then the Canary Chalkboard, and you can see how the yellow mixed with the pink to give a really soft orange look, which was very beautiful and I really love uh, the soft look of this one. Now we've got uh, splatters on this background and we're using the ivory canvas cord paper and I'm just unscrewing the top of uh, the mists and tapping those onto the background. And we have the tangy lime simply sheer and then there was the rolling tide which is the blue glimmer mist and the lobster glimmer mist and then i've grabbed this dazzling diamonds this is one of my favorites because it's clear with just a beautiful sheen and you can see in the light uh, the clear uh, dazzling diamonds in the background which is really beautiful so i like this kind of looks like a party and would be great for maybe a birthday card for this uh, 12th one, I'm using a stencil and I'm just misting directly over the stencil onto ivory canvas court paper. And I've just used ruby slipper, chalkboard mist, and butternut squash glimmer mist. And it just really has a lovely effect. And then not to let that background mist go to waste, I'm laying the white canvas court paper and I'm laying that in the remaining spray and then I've got some black magic glimmer mist and which I'm spraying directly on uh, that's a really pretty black with gold undertones now I'm painting on the uh, silver diamonds glimmer glam which is that 
tinted uh, paint and it's got a silvery effect with chunks of glitter and I heated it up a little bit to just give it a little texture. Now for the 14th uh, background we've got some texture paste. This is a translucent paste and I've sprayed it with navy blue glimmer mist and I'm just picking that up with my um, palette knife and spreading that through a stencil. Uh, the glimmer mist tints it so nicely and gives it a really neat effect. You could do this with white um, texture paste as well. Now for the last background, we are glamming this one up with silver diamonds, uh, glimmer glam, and then we've got cupcake glimmer glam, and I have a blue which is mermaid, but uh, I believe that one's discontinued. However, there's other beautiful blues in the Canvas Corp brand shop. And I'm spraying over top with some mists um, just to get into those areas that didn't get covered with the Glimmer Glam, which acts as a resist. So you can see how shiny and sparkly and textured this one is. So I hope you enjoyed following along while I created all these backgrounds. I really had a lot of fun. I hope you'll stop by the Canvas Corp brand shop and check out all the fun Tattered Angels products.